Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to control keyframed animation using MoGraph and Fields. In this simple scene, I have this cube that has some keyframed animation, and this animation takes place over 60 frames. Now let's go and put this under a cloner. I'm going to set the cloner to be in linear mode and let's make uh, 25 of these and set them at 25 in the X axis, 25 and zero in the Y and let's drag this in here. Excellent. Now we have all these clones. Now if I press play, nothing will happen. You can see that uh, because I've got it selected, you can see the keyframes, but they're actually not moving. And the reason is that the default state of the cloner is to take the coordinates away from the object. And this means all keyframed animation as well. In order to make this work, we need to uncheck this. And if I press play, you will see that they'll all move in unison. The other thing you need to do is make sure you're in instance mode. Neither render instance nor multi instance would work for this particular setup. So let's see what we can do. Go to the transform and use this time offset to offset the animation. So if I go negative here, you will see that the animation plays forwards because we are starting at an earlier keyframe. Now let's switch this mode from play to fixed and you will see that again, nothing happens. And this is because now the time has been surrendered to the effector. So let's go and add a simple plane effector. Let's remove the movement. And uh, down here where it says time offset, now I can control the animation of these. So how do I make this work with fields? Well, tell the time offset to be the maximum frame number in your animation, which is 60. And now the strength of the effector from zero to one will control the full effect of those 60 frames. Let's go to the fields, add a linear field. Let's select the linear field and uh, reverse its orientation and turn off the color. And now moving this field will allow you to animate whatever you want. If you want another interesting effect, just go and add a random field and set the animation speed, press play and watch your objects animate. Now you do need to make sure that you have enough contrast. So just go to the remapping and then make this a bit less and make this a bit more. And now your noise is controlling how fast these animations are going to occur. And uh, that's all you have to do. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.